I have tons of leftover summer squash, so I decided to make yellow squash cheddar biscuits. And you can find the recipe at thehistoricalhomemaker.com. In a medium bowl, add all-purpose flour. Baking powder. Baking soda. Salt and onion powder. Whisk the dry ingredients together really well. Granulated sugar. Add in unsalted chilled cubed butter. You can use a pastry cutter, a fork, or even use your own bare hands to just mash the butter into the flour. And you wanna make sure that the butter pieces are very small and fine, like the size of lentils. Add in the diced yellow squash and the grated cheddar cheese. Mix together really well. Make a well in the center of your dough, and this is where we're going to pour the buttermilk. Add in the buttermilk. Use a wooden spoon to mix the ingredients together really well. The dough looks perfect. I've added some flour to my work surface and I'm going to start working on rolling out the dough. I've separated the dough into three pieces and rolled it out into about one inch of thickness. I can't find my biscuit cutter anywhere, so I'm just going to use the rim of a glass to cut out the biscuits. The biscuits look perfect. I've lined a baking sheet with parchment paper and I've lined up my biscuits. I'm going to refrigerate the biscuit dough for about 15 minutes until I bake them. The biscuits are now ready for the oven and I'm going to bake them in a preheated oven of 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until they are golden. The biscuits are fresh out of the oven and they look perfect lovely and deliciously golden brown. Here is a biscuit and it looks amazing, doesn't it? You can see the yellow squash, the cheddar cheese mixed in. Oh, it's delicious. And here is a sliced biscuit with tons of butter, of course. You can find the recipe at thehistoricalhomemaker.com.